just yesterday. I was at a hospital here in Alaska where they implemented a neonatal abstinence syndrome protocol and program that's being looked at around the country and folks are attempting to replicate it. Prescribing is going down 20 to 25 percent across the country, larger decreases in the military communities and in the, the veterans uh, the communities. It's really been a testament to doctors, to the medical profession, finally waking up four out of five people with substance use disorder say they got started with a prescription opioid. Now, that said, many of my physician colleagues in the past have said, well, those aren't my patients. Unfortunately, when we look at the PDMP data across the country, uh, we do a very poor job of predicting who is and who isn't going to divert, which is why we need to make sure we're all utilizing PDMPs. But in addition to that, it may not be your patient, but it may be the son of your patient who's diverting those overprescribed opioids. It may be the babysitter who came into your house. It may be someone from down the street who came in and you prescribed 30 or 60 Vicodin that weren't all needed and the rest ended up on the counter for five or six or 10 years until someone came in and diverted them. In addition to going after prescribing, we have to make sure we're providing reasonable alternatives for acute and chronic pain management. One more thing that I really think we need to lean into as, as healthcare practitioners, as professionals, is providing medication-assisted treatment. We know that the gold standard for treatment and recovery is medication-assisted treatment of some form. We know it's not nearly available enough. Many more things that we can do, but if we lean in on prescribing, providing alternatives to opioids for pain management, to having more people prescribe MAT, and the one other thing I would mention is naloxone. We need to make sure we're co-prescribing naloxone for those who are at risk for opioid overdose. And if we can do those things in the healthcare setting, uh, we will significantly, significantly make an impact in regards to the opioid epidemic.